do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Game Dexterity. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take an exploited memory card that already has free McBoot and use that with your USB stick to install another copy on a second memory card that has never been exploited before. Why do you want to do this? Because sometimes your friends or your family members or whoever, they have a memory card, they don't have swap magic, they don't have a mod chip, but you have an exploited memory card, somehow you were able to install it on your own, and now you have the power to go ahead and go forth on the magical land of earth and exploit other memory cards and you can charge people or you can do it for free or whatever you want to do so I'm going to show you how you can do that so first thing is this is under the understanding that you have an exploited memory card already if you have no idea what I'm talking about please watch any of my other PS2 videos but anyways what you want to do beforehand is make sure you have the install files for the free McBoot package so what you can do is go to SK apps and I'll have a link in the more info section and download the newbie package and with the newbie package just extract it to a USB thumb drive so right here on the right hand window is my uh, USB stick and on here is the folders for the free mic boots so basically what you do is just run it and when we go into the real life video of me doing this it'll make more sense so without wasting any more time let's go straight into that video in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the PS2 Slim and install a free mic boot onto a second memory card when you already have one memory card already exploited with the free McBoot package. Now what is important to note is no, you cannot copy the files from one memory card to the second. It does not work that way. However, you can use the first memory card that has the free McBoot and use it to boot the free McBoot install files from a USB stick and then use that to install it on the second memory card. So let me show you and hopefully it makes sense. So here's my PS2. I got two memory cards. This one has it. This one does not. This USB stick has the free McBoot install files. So let's turn on the PS2 and let's do this. Alright, so we're at the main menu, so I just go scroll down to U Launch Elf and I press X. Now this will boot from the first memory card, so that's the memory card on the very left hand slot. So now I just press down, oh sorry, I press circle for the file browser and I go all the way down to mass and press circle. And notice that I have a folder called the newbie package. You can get this from the more info section. I have a link to the SKS uh, apps website where you can download it and just extract the files to your USB stick, the root, and you should be good to go. So I press circle and now on this screen I just scroll down to the freemcboot.elf file and press circle and here it will bring up the freemcboot installation menu. So now on here I say normal install sorry let's do a multi version install just in case um, so you can cover it for any type of PS2 if you bring your memory card to someone else's PS2 it should work so let's do the multi version install today so I'm gonna press circle sorry press X and now it says two memory cards are detected which one to use so I'm gonna go over and go to slot 2 and press X and it says this will install free McBoot multi version on memory card 2 continue question mark so I go to OK and press X it's gonna say loading checking memory card 2 available space and now it's in the process of installation so quite honestly if you have one memory card already exploited it only takes you about oh I don't know two three minutes to install the next memory card so it's not that big of a deal if you have a friend that has an exploited memory card or maybe you have one already so you don't need swap magic you don't need a mod chip you just need to have an exploited memory card to get yourself going either that or you could you know maybe find someone on the internet and mail your memory card to them if you trust them enough and they can install it for you so just one of those options to consider
And now it says free McBoot installed successfully on memory card 2. So I press X. So now I know some of you guys probably don't believe this. You probably have very little faith. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the PS2. And I'm going to show you me turning off the PS2. And now I'm going to take out the USB stick. And it's tough to do with... Hold on a second. So here is the second memory card. I'm going to put it in the first slot. Hopefully that shows up okay on the camera. So that is the second memory card. And now... Turn on the PS2 and it's going to boot off of it automatically. So now that you have that installed, you can do whatever you want. Um, by all means, go ahead and t watch my other free McBoot videos. I show you how to install other programs. Um, so that's for another tutorial. If you have any questions, by all means, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.